Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 13.4 beta five has been out for a few days. I've been using it primarily on my iPhone 11 pro max along with the iPhone 10 R. And I also have it on my iPad pro 12.9 from 2018. Now it's been a pretty good experience for me, but I want to talk about my experience. We'll talk about performance and battery life on iOS 13.4 beta five, as well as how it's been for you based off the YouTube community poll. And so we'll talk about performance and battery for me, then for you. And then also we'll take a look at the poll and some of your comments. Now, the first thing is it's been pretty good for me with the exception of one odd bug that I've been having. The one strange bug I've had is you'll see, I have AirPods paired here. If I pair my AirPods pro though, it shows the wrong symbol here. So instead of showing AirPods pro there, it will actually show me power beats pro. So these are the power beats pro and it will show the symbol of this headphone. So it, it's kind of strange that it shows up that way, but it does continuously show up that way when I'm using my AirPods pro. So it's just something else I've noticed. It's not a huge deal, but it's just the wrong icon. And so of course, if you're experiencing similar issues, submit them in feedback. So Apple knows about it and can fix it. Now, as far as everything else for this settings is nice and fast. Now it's not really having any issues like I had with beta four. So I've had no freeze ups, no lockups and performance has been fantastic. So no issues with performance for me on any of these devices, including the iPhone 10 R or any other device that I've been using with my iPad or anything like that. So scrolling is nice and smooth going into different apps. They're nice and fast and everything else works fine. Now, battery life has actually been pretty good. It's good enough at this point that I don't really check it until I make these videos just to see what we're at consistently. So my battery health continues to be at 100% and that's charging it every night. And this is my main phone that I leave my main SIM card in and everything else. And then over the past 10 days. So let's take a look at yesterday. Day, I had, well, it was plugged in for part of that day. So let's look at the day before three hours and 24 minutes of screen on time, three hours and 44 minutes of screen off time. So it's doing really well. And I normally say 10 to 12 hours of screen on time for most people. Many people are saying the same thing in the comments as well. If they have an 11 pro or pro max or one of the newer phones, they're getting really good battery. And most people with older phones are as well. And you'll see, I only used about 25% of my battery on that day. So if I'd continued to use it, you could times that by four and that would give you how much screen on time you'd have. So pretty good overall. Now, as far as your experience, since I haven't really had any issues, you've only, you've still had a few little issues based off your comments. The first one is mail. Now mail has actually been pretty good for me for the most part. Sometimes it doesn't work when I push the button that shows unread. So let me show you what I mean. So for example, in mail, you have the button that says, show me unread email only. Now it's actually working now, but sometimes this doesn't work. So if it's showing me unread email only, sometimes it does work. Sometimes it doesn't, but really I haven't had any other issues with it other than that. But many people have said they've had not only those issues, but issues with them having to refresh mail and not showing notifications properly and things like that. Also a couple people were saying they were seeing resprings or the display going black for a second. So for example, a respring is when the phone sort of looks like it reboots, but doesn't fully reboot and just reloads the screen. And so they were having that on some of their devices. So that's pretty rare with the betas, but it seems like it's happening to a few people. So that along with a couple people saying app crashing, as well as some people with iPhone eights and older saying they're seeing lag. So if you have an older phone, maybe a six S plus, they were saying mostly iPhone seven and eight users were seeing lag or eight plus were seeing lag when just going through settings or anything in general, occasionally seeing lag, not a lot of people, but a few people reported that. And then a couple people reported issues of heat, the phone getting hot. Now it's normal for the phone to get warm when you're charging and, and using the battery. And also when you're playing a game or watching video, it will get a little warm, but it should not get excessively hot. So if it's getting really hot, do a hard reboot and that usually fixes it. Now, most people, like I said, are saying they're having good battery life. A few are not, but for the most part, people are saying it's excellent compared to the previous beta. And I would definitely say that 13.4 is better than 13.3.1 when it comes to battery. So in general, it's a very good update. And 
the rotation issue people were having on the home screen if it's an older phone or if you're in an application that will do rotation it seems to be working fine so for example if i go into a video so if i'm in a video and i want to rotate back it seems to be working just fine so it works well and no issues there so that's a good sign so in general, it seems to be really buttoned down and I'll talk about when I think it'll release pretty soon. Now, before I talk about the YouTube community poll, Apple did announce that the WWDC or worldwide developer conference for 2020 will be held online and we'll still have a keynote showing off iOS 14 or whatever else is coming out. So it will look normal to those of us that have never been to an event, but for those that have been to an event, it will be new for them or it'll be like they weren't invited. So we'll be able to watch it online. Apple is not announced a date yet, but expect that in June at some point, but also it looks like we may have some new MacBooks releasing as early as next week. So it looks like Apple's product line may still be up to date. And then also iOS 13.4 may release this coming week on Tuesday. It just depends. We may see a beta six or we may see a final release. It's hard to say at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we see beta six and then a final release. They've done that with these releases in the past. Now let's take a look at the YouTube community poll. Now I'm recording the video a little bit earlier than normal. So there's only 3.4 K votes at this point and there's 76 comments and I've read every one of those comments, but this gives me a little time to have off on the weekend. So I do this a little bit early, but as you can see, 16% said it was great. 2% said it was terrible. 5% said, okay, but some bugs, 62% said I'm on iOS 13.3.1 or older and 15% are on Android. And that number is pretty consistent. 14 to 16% is always someone on Android. So thanks for continuing to vote. But for those of you on iOS, let's take a look at some of your comments. I'm using iOS 13.4 on iPhone 10R and it's doing pretty well. No bugs at the moment on the iPhone 10S Max. My phone respring's on iPhone 10S Max like crazy. It's good with my iPhone 7 Plus. It works perfectly. Good long battery life and good camera. Enjoyed. Beta 5 is just perfect on my 10S. Everything works well and smooth. Battery life is better than last beta, but I think it could be better. iPad OS is fast and smooth like beta 4, and I can't find any problem. Thanks, Aaron, for your videos. Thank you. On my iPhone 10R, battery life is great. I've got almost 6.5 hours screen on time with 5% battery left yesterday. That's quite awesome. Using iPhone 10, sometimes settings freezes and mobile also heats on playing videos. Rest is all good. Everything works fine on iPhone 6S, except when calling, the signal leaves quick. And there wasn't a single complaint about LTE or Wi-Fi or anything else. So that should be good for most people. It just said that signal went down as he made a call. However, call quality could be fine. I'm not sure. Great battery life. My setting stutter is gone from the previous beta along with my Siri dictation issue seems to be resolved. iPhone 11 Pro and iPad 2018. iOS 13.4 developer beta 5, very bad battery life on my iPhone 11. Then the next two comments are saying great battery life. So you'll see using an iPhone 11 Pro Max here, battery life is terrific. Unplugged at 0300 and lasted through the gym work and general use until 2300 when i plugged it in at 30 percent lots of video and streaming podcast and music the only bug i'm not sure if it's the app is youtube rotation issues when i'm done watching a video it's hard to say i'm not seeing that rotation issue myself though it's been running good on my 10s max except the stock mail app there are still times when i have zero notifications but when i open the app a dozen emails will show up at once i'm on public beta 5 will i be able to update to the final by just removing the beta profile usually you can just remove it when the final comes out and i'll keep you updated with that i normally update everyone on twitter as well so if you're following me there uh, I normally let you know how to do that there. I'm using iPhone 8 Plus and everything seems to work great. No stutters, no lag on anything, and the battery life is great. Mostly fine on my iPhone 11 Pro. Battery life is still great. RAM management seems fine, and I rarely experience reloads aside from the YouTube app. The mail app doesn't register mail as read right away, but usually gets it sorted the next time it checks mail. I'll read a couple more. iPhone 10 Beta 5 has been really great for me. I hope they release it to the public soon. Glitches and stutters when using YouTube. Also some lag while scrolling the UI and I was unable to dismiss some mail notifications. I would say from my experience, good, but needs some work. On my iPad Pro 2018, 11 inch, battery life, great, no complaints, also seems very smooth and fast. Love your videos and very detailed, thank you. iPhone SE, good battery life, connectivity fine, no stutters, very happy. 
So far, the worst OS, the battery dying fast like lightning. Try a hard reboot. Usually that will fix it. So that's it for iOS 13.4 beta 5. Let me know your experience in the comments below. And of course, I'll keep doing these updates. Be sure to check back next week for iOS 13.4 beta six or the final release. And I'm looking forward to iOS 14 with that release and maybe some new products next week as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.